am Tahu. My strength will burn away the enemy. I am here to battle evil. It is my destiny to claim my golden mask of power and become the master of fire. Hi guys, Sharper back once again with another Mint in Box and today we're going to be looking at the latest offerings from LEGO in the form of Bionicle 2015. Now it's been a while since Bionicle has been a thing since Hero Factory took over but I remember Bionicle and I remember it being very good. So seeing the line return using the new elements from Hero Factory and Rebuilding the legacy, so to speak, is fantastic. Today we have Tahu, the Master of Fire, and the, the Protector of Fire. Tahu retails for $14.99 and the Protector is about $9.99. So let's crack these open and I'll show you what they're like inside. Protector of Fire serves much the same role as the other smaller inhabitants of the Bionicle world in the original Bionicle Saga. I forget their names now, but here he's just Protector of Fire. He doesn't get a name, he's kind of a generic guy. And that's the case with most of them. I like to think of them as like stalwart monk type characters who guard the golden masks until such a time as they are needed. Fire Guy has some fire tonfers. They say they're fire blades but they're more like tonfers to me. And he also comes with an elemental blaster which is quite neat. It's not a system I've seen on a figure before. And if I hold him down it's just a simple turning mechanic that means you can fire off a bunch of studs and you will never see them again because now I can't. Luckily they do give you an abundance of extra studs because they know you're going to lose them. And I do like his mask. It does have a really nice marble multi-layered effect it's really nice I really like that articulation wise he's got a ton of it he's just ball joints for days he's got some stumpy little arms but they work for a size he's made of 63 pieces and he's around four to five inches tall but let's get on to his bigger counterpart. Tahu is the de facto leader of the Bionicle team, mainly because his element is fire and his colour is red. And if you go by the tropes of most teaming conventions, that makes him the leader. He's 89 pieces, he carries twin swords in the back that can be used for limited surfing abilities and he carries two massive fire swords that can be converted into a lava surfing board. His primary gimmick in this form is a rotating arm gimmick which is activated by this switch on the back. So as it as you're playing you can just be swinging his arms of course it helps if you put them out a bit here and you can just go to town with that he is very articulated he has a ton of ball joints 
and you can get some fairly decent poses out of him. Tahu is an impressive size. I didn't think he would be this big. I mean, he has to be about 10 inches at least, because if I put S.H. Figuart's guy next to him, he's got some height to him. He really has. He is a robust figure. He is just chunky. I do worry about his ball joints though because a figure of this size with so much weight on it they might degrade quite quickly. Donning the golden mask Tahu can become the true master of fire. Gaining the armaments of his protector cohort he can slay the sinister lord of skull spiders both as individual releases and as a combined unit. I think the Protector of Fire and Tahu the Master of Fire are fantastic figures and a brilliant entry point into the Bionicle franchise. It is great to see this line back and they are doing wonders with it. I am really impressed straight out of the gate and I cannot wait to review the rest of the line. I've been Sharpo, this has been the Fire Elementals for the Bionicle 2015 line, and I'll catch you guys next time on Mint Inbox.